from there when you're practicing this, but let's start in the 88 BPM range. So we can take this notion and we can apply this to the Ratcliffe beat that we were talking about earlier as well. You can start off playing straight and then you can start morphing it, get through all the way through the spectrum and come back. Let's check it out. So now let's take this and let's apply it practically and let's see how we can actually use this to make a groove either work or not, you know? Let's go back and revisit Sissy Strut and I'll show you if you take it and you swing it too much, it's going to sound like Peter Cottontail coming down the bunny trail. It's terrible. So, the same thing happens if you take this and you play it too straight. It's going to be equally terrible, but in a new and interesting way. Right? So you can see how this notion of playing in between straight and swung can either make or break this groove and many, many other grooves that you're going to be trying to play. I think that the phrasing of this stuff really needs to be addressed for you to really get inside of how to make this stuff really work or not work. So we've taken a look at how to morph the 16th notes with the right and left hand. 